today you guys saw we grinded out a lot of the truck uh dude today's gonna be a final day you guys see we'll wrap it up we got powder coated rotors going on this one you guys see a little bit of that and then we're gonna throw the wheels on the powder coated wheels in the back if you guys didn't see kg1 javelins are actually directional wheels this is a polished finish and dude for the first time in a little while we have powder coated backs yesterday we threw a lot of things together Dude, you guys see another shop build, dude, out for customs. Guys, and by the way, before we continue, dude, tomorrow starts all the traveling to all the different truck shows. You guys, I think you're gonna love the videos. Dude, really deep videos. Dude. Before we move on, real quick, dude, make sure to subscribe, 30 Days and 30 Trucks. Tomorrow we start traveling. You guys will see, we went to Texas, Tennessee, like I said yesterday, bunch of places, bunch of truck shows, dude, a lot of interesting content coming up. Make sure to subscribe. Let's hop in on the build. PJ trucking, PJ trucking, PJ trucking, PJ trucking, PJ trucking, PJ trucking. PJ trucking. Hey guys, we got some excellent content for you guys. Welcome back to the channel. What's up, PJ trucking? We're back here at Alpha Custom. So on this truck, like Joey said, we're gonna be doing a set of powder coated rotors. Basically what we're gonna do is get these rotors, we're gonna powder coat them, where well, they're already powder coated, and then you send them out to get milled, and basically they, sh they shave off a whole edge of what was just powder coated. We also have a set of stage two gusseted PMF traction bars, and basically it's gonna grab right underneath the block to the U-bolts. Dude, just one more time. I really wanna show you guys an in-depth look of this red powder coat. It's got a flake in it, it's hard to tell. You guys will see when we're done, but dude, absolutely killer. It's super hard. This is my favorite pattern. This is my favorite, you know, size setup, 26 by 16s on 35. But I like how you can see a polished lip and then a red lip on the other side. Huge fan of these wheels. Because you want javelins. The windows are also powder coated. And we got a set. We got a set of KG1 floating billet caps. Oh, uh, dude, these are these are the sickest caps you can get. I like when the caps are silver instead of black, and obviously when they spin. Also doing a set of 16 rock lights on this truck, Fatboy Customs. They're 36-piece LEDs. We're gonna be throwing them onto an, every fender, and then we're gonna light up the truck and hopefully attempt to get no shadows. Uh, usually when these trucks are a little bit lower, you definitely get a lot more coverage. And then you just have to worry about the bars you're covering. And also, we're throwing in a uh, polished out drive shaft. MIA polishing, polish it out for us. So usually you guys see we wrap the drive shaft. On um, this one, we're gonna polish it out. First drive out of the shop, dude. We're getting this thing out of there. 
bro. So hard. Dude, and the rock lights look fire, bro. Dude, huge fan of the powder coated wheels, bro. Huge fan, huge fan. Looks so sick. Dude, sitting at a perfect height. We got a six inch and a level. Dude, stage two traction bars. We got our polished drive shot. Start for the night. Tomorrow I'll just clean it up um, so he can pick it up. Tomorrow I'm just gonna wrap up the truck, go over and make sure everything's good. Uh, that's about it. What's up guys, it's Jerry from Afron Customs. Real quick, I'm running you guys to this truck. It's a 2021 F-250 Platinum. Right here we got some Javelins. PJ went over from KG-1. Derek actually powder coated the back side of these. Um, they're on a set of 1550 um, Venoms. It's a six inch PMF, so it's a six inch spring with the two and a half inch level. It's got kings all the way around. So the stabilizer kit, the front and rear shocks are king as well. It's got the short arm four link. Um, it's got some steering upgrades from PMS, PMF as well, the track bar and the drag link. Um, it's got the floating caps from KG-1, rear shocks, um, and then it also has diff covers and as well MI polishing. He polished the rear drive shaft for us, because I'll show you guys that. Um, we got the tail lights done by Goodwin's Garage, and what else? Powder coated hitch receiver, but this truck actually came back. Um, so I just finished this like a week ago. It used to be just leveled with the um, traction bars and four link, but now what we're actually going to do is we're going to tear it apart, do the axles, you guys will see that whole build go on. We have the PMF drag link and a couple of steering components, all powder coated illusion red to match, and we have a PMF straight bar. But the biggest thing is we got these PMF diff covers you saw earlier, have the gray powder coated eagle. A lot of the accents on this truck are powder coated gray to look kind of silver. BDS steering stabilizer kit. And then we got a set of King steering stabilizers. Dude, overall, this is kind of like more our style build, a little street truck setup. 26s and 35s on a six inch lift, all powder coated, definitely way up our alley. Uh, dude, I want you guys to drop in the comments below. Do you guys like the big builds or do you like the street builds? This is more of a street style build. Uh, and like you said, we're gonna pull it in. It's actually coming back, we're gonna do full axles. And it'll actually pretty much be a full build because it's got powder coated leafs and everything. So you guys will see this truck again later on in the future. 30 trucks, 30 days. I hope you guys are loving the uh, content. Been absolutely pushing away. Appreciate you guys for watching. Man. Thank you, bro. Oh, fire, Caden.